Well, welcome back to Buckland Junction. Yes, everything is turned back into a building site. It's wiring. Oh man, I can't tell you how much wire I've put in over the last couple of days. But um, I'm also starting to do scenics and place buildings. That's where I left off the other day. Um, so my station's coming along, but uh, I need something to uh, be getting on with in the uh, in the evening hours down in the kitchen. So uh, this is what I have planned. So I'm going to uh, make this river bridge here. It's going to be a brick river arched bridge. I've had a bit of a um, planning session look <clears throat> something like that oh stand up I don't know if the camera will pick that up on an arch brick bridge <clears throat> yeah something along those that's, that's my template so down to the kitchen we go here we go as you can see I've already made a start, uh, this is the width of the river, so I've put two 90 degree lines. I've taken this plate to make my arch, which is, uh, looks okay, and I've put the scalpel to work and I've removed that bit, so that's the first part. Now we shall decorate it with some papers and some over walls etc, so uh, stand by, more coming. Just to give the, um, this is the fascia, just to give it some bulk, I'm going to put it over a uh, piece of two-ply, is that two-ply? Yeah, two-ply um, uh, cardboard, just to give it some, uh, some depth to it, so like that, before I put the brick papers on, so back in a moment. Moving on now, I've put two uh, wooden um, stirrers, like you get in your uh, Starbucks coffee, yeah, uh, stir wooden stirrers just to give it a little extra strength. Now I should put some, uh, start putting some detail, brick papers and and bits of other bits and bobs and top stones. Here we go, another step further. Um, this is the yellow brick paper. Uh, I think it's D2 super quick, so uh, I had to go yellow brick because uh, I've used so much red brick on many other bits of the layout that it's all going to start looking the same if not. So this is the yellow brick and uh, yeah it's coming along nicely. A few wrinkles because of the wet glue but hopefully they will flatten out in a moment. So uh, onwards and upwards. Okay moving on we've got some um, got the arch stones and the keystone in the middle. So uh, I've got a couple of um, pillars now which are going to go on each side and then I finish off with the uh, bridge, bridge top so uh, onwards and upwards here comes some more okay a little bit more detail going on um, I think I'm going to do some uh, stone tops to these two before I get to do the topping so more, more later here we go well, things have advanced quite a bit, and uh, this is my river bridge. I've got to now make the um, the uh, walkways on either side of the river, so uh, so it's open to the public. But uh, yeah, I'm going to um, going to give the uh, grey cardboard a, a lashing of um, of PVA and water. You watch how this brings the thing down into. Uh, into a more kind of realistic colour so here we go okay it's very late but uh, my bridge is looking um, just how I wanted it to, to be I've got something to help me go to sleep again but uh, yeah I'm happy with this river bridge it's not really going to be on view unless you look underneath the uh, the main line uh, river bridge to see this behind it but uh, I think it's going to be okay. It's a little bit fresh, there's still uh, lots of white glue showing, but uh, yeah, I'm quite happy with this, so 
I shall carry on tomorrow. I need to produce the walkways uh, along the river bank. So uh, that's what I shall do later tomorrow and uh, get back to you. So that's Alan on my way to bed. Good night. Oops, sorry. It's very late at night. Probably like, um, uh, like, um, yeah, it's half past two in the morning, but I can't stop messing around with this bridge. I hope it's starting to make sense now. It hasn't dried, so when it dries, it will look a little bit more um, uh, weathered after this. So, so. Yes, it's how I should be in bed, but I keep messing around with this, this cardboard bridge. So, uh, yeah, I, this is going to be a good bridge. I know it. I can feel it in my bones. Good night, everybody. Okay, here we are for a dry fit first, just to see where the footpaths are going to go. So I think it's going to be okay. So uh, again, back to the kitchen for some more. Okay, while the other part of the bridge is uh, drying, the glue is drying, I'm going to... Uh, See if I can get some weathering done here. This is PVA. Bit of black watercolour. What is it by the way? It's uh, Cotman's Ivory Black. A little dab of that in with some water and some PVA. And uh, let's give it a bit of, of a weather. I'm doing this through the camera lens, so, uh, wow! Yeah, I might have to set this up a bit better, so, uh, back in a moment. Yeah, this is the back wall, so that's its first, um, uh, little coating of, uh, weathering, so that's toned it down. It needs, uh, one more coat in a little while when this is dry, so, uh, yeah, back in a moment. Well, I think that's enough weathering for now. A little bit more can be done when it's on the, on the layout. So uh, there's the um, the back side of the bridge there, ready to go. So uh, I'll take take you up to the layout and we'll fit it in place and see how it fits in. Hopefully, uh, it's going to be uh, just right for the, for the job. So uh, back in a minute. Okay, we're ready for fitting. Um, as you can see out a few scraps of cardboard I've made the uh, well like a scenic break so uh, when you look into the uh, into the bridge mouth uh, you can't see anything so I didn't want to see the back wall shining through so uh, that's it I'm just going to place it in position and there's the back wall so I'll put them in position and uh, give you another uh, update. Well, there we are in place so uh, yep again quite happy with that and uh, I sort the river bank out and we've got some static grass and some bushes and obviously the embankment bank coming down to meet this path so uh, yeah I, I think I've got it I've just stuck the uh, the back panel in position um, please excuse the white PVA but you won't be able to see that in a couple of hours so yeah, this is it. I'll give you a view from underneath the um, the main main line bridge, so we can see it underneath that bridge. Yep, this is the view of the bridge under the main line bridge. So um, so that's it. It is a scenic break. You can't see through to the other side. Job done. So that's it in place I'm really happy um, it's all going to start blending into one so uh, back to wiring tomorrow that's uh, a goodbye from Al in the loft that's the uh, brick bridge completed I'm really happy take care folks see you soon and stay safe I suppose we're on tier 4 down here in the south coast Whatever that means. I think Christmas is buggered, but uh, anyway. Take care. Bye bye from Buckland Junction, Ow in the Loft.